Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy launch day. We're back this fall with another launch. Um, it's Friday for you guys. <laughs> it's not for me. Today we are once again pre-recorded just with my surgery healing. We thought it would help to, I'm gonna actually attempt to do changes today. Um, and because my changes are slow, um, it will help to pre-record so I can have those like instant changes for you guys. But hop on, give us a hello, let us know where you're from. I can't see you, but I am, I will be on, our team will be on um, live with you guys. So if you have questions, please make sure to ask them in the chat um, because we've got a great team of people on there to help you with your questions. Um, but you guys, we have a great lineup today. While I'm a little bit sad, this much sad that there's a couple of things that were supposed to be on this launch actually supposed to be on last week's launch so i haven't made it in um the good news is we have a great lineup you guys probably saw in my stories when i pulled in um of great items that are launching today so a couple of graphic tees we're gonna start with this one actually you guys hold on time out for those of you tuning in for the first time my name is melissa owner and designer here at graceandlace.com we are a women's apparel company that make and design our items especially <laughs> specifically for you to help you look good and feel good so we've got a great lineup today a couple of graphic tees one you guys have been waiting for a pretty one here we've got some corded jackets some shackets some uh, sweatshirts hoodies everything for the cold weather some leather pants that are absolutely fabulous notches above the leather pants that we've done in the past a dress that fall dress that we've been waiting for for ages as well and then a butter Butter, yes, we named it Butter. Butter leather vest. Literally, you guys, you've never felt anything like this in a faux leather material. I, I can't even describe it. Excited to talk about it. So we're gonna jump in and get started. Graphic tees are the name of our game. And we've got a fun pumpkin one. You guys, Victoria's back from maternity leave. And look at this painted jack-o'-lantern cuteness. Okay, here's the thing. Graphic tees for Halloween can be very much so on the scale of weird, crazy, skull and bones, you, you know, you name it, right? We like, I tend to gravitate towards liking to be in the kind of festive, not necessarily Halloween, but even just like October in general, like the pumpkin kind of feel. So we've got some fun faces, happy faces. Regardless, they're all smiley and fun, okay? They're all smiley and cute. Now, this is our true fit, true fit tea. Now, I do want to call out that it does not exactly fit like our true fit tees of the past because you can't really compare basically the heathered material in our other designs were a little bit thicker than this so this is a little bit thinner it's heavier than our normal perfect pocket tee but not quite as heavy as what our heathered materials were in our true fit tee but its fit is the true fit it just has a little bit more slinkiness to it the fabric has great stretch so before if you sized up in our true fits i'm not sure if you need to size up this time everyone the, the girls are back here ready to come out in them but everyone's staying true to size and if between sizes we're going down so we made a couple of changes to our true fit we did loosen up the sleeve and elongate the sleeve a little bit opened up the neck just a little bit giving you a little bit more of the bust room but it's a very very good true to size fit tee and I would say if you're not busty um, or if you're between sizes, you could actually go down in this one just because the material has more give than what the heathered styles are. So really cute, it has the side slits on the side, that graphic there at the bust, um, and then the gentle V-neck, and then of course we loosened up those sleeves a little bit for you. So just keep in mind there are changes from our previous true fit design, just kind of upgrading the style, knowing this fabric has a little bit more slinkiness than what our heathered materials do. Okay, let's bring out um, the models in this. Tailors, we make this style extra extra small to extra extra large so really giving you that wide range of fit and sizes to give to put on what you prefer in in this size so taylor's true size is closer to an extra extra small in us in our brand um, and so she's in the extra extra small here and i'm in the extra small here so i'm between sizes and i do go down to the to the extra smallness being between so super cute obviously throw it with comfy wear black jacket, denim jacket. I mean, this is one of those ones, you guys, I love that it's not in your face, but it's just so cute with these pumpkin kind of jack-o'-lanterns on there. Okay, extra, extra small on her. Next, we have Kylie in the small. Okay. So, Kylie. 
comfy and cozy. She threw the slippers on. Perfect. Okay. So being in that vibe, that fall weather vibe, okay, you, this is when you don't even really think about it. I just threw it on with a pair of jeans. First time in jeans since my surgery, actually. But she's got it on with the black sweats. Really cute. And she could throw it on with a den denim jacket and that would look fabulous as well. Okay. So small on her, extra small on me. And then Denise is with us. We're making her double time today doing the styling and do modeling for us, but look how cute with our cargos. If you have not pulled out your cargos yet or just getting them in from buying them, really cute way to put a cute festive outfit together and not necessarily be in jeans. So multiple ways, and she's in a medium, by yes. the way, too. So stay true to size in this one. Kind of put in the back of your mind what other true fits you have. Stay true to size in this one, okay? And then Michelle in this one in a size large, another cute outfit. Again, not necessarily having to pull the blue, showing a bunch of different outfits from sweatpants, casual pants, even pajama pants. She's got on the gray, which looked really cute too. And then she just has our black um, hoodie tied around her waist. So cute and festive and she's in a large. And you guys, Amanda is back and we are all rejoicing over here. I feel like I need confetti, <laughs> okay? We all need confetti for that because like, we have confetti, okay? <laughs> because we miss her so much. She's back from maternity leave um, and still getting a few days with, um, with her little baby Knox at home, but we're glad to have her. So extra large um, on her. So put it with the, um, you can pull out the orange with that kind of rusty kind of easy cardigan to throw over this. If you are in cooler temps and kind of want the longer sleeve, it's a great tee for layering, okay? Really, really easy tee to wear, nice and stretchy. It has that even kind of hem with a little bit of the side slits. So it's really just, honestly, I would stay true to size. In this one, I really would. I wouldn't suggest, sorry, tucking's a little bit harder for me these days. Okay, I wouldn't size up if you necessarily sized up in your, um, in the other true fit because we did make those changes plus the slinkiness in the material that makes this one a little bit more lightweight okay let's move on to and i'm in the extra i'm in the extra small by the way actually you guys see that moving on to the um wyoming graphic sweatshirt okay i am a sucker for any time of hoodie graphic sweatshirt like i am you more times than not <laughs> I am wearing when in a when it's cold. We're still we're still hot here in Texas, you guys. That needs to change here soon. Okay. I love to throw on a hoodie. I don't know what it is about just even being in the house and the house being a little bit cooler. We do not keep our houses warm in the winter. Um, and so throwing something like this on, you can keep a tee under it. You can do a longer tee under it and wear it with leggings. You can wear it with jeans. It's uh, it's really one thing that's like soccer games, kids games run into the mall, running errands. You, you have a million reasons to throw on a hoodie, right? Okay, so it is in our signature soft material. What's great about our signature soft material is that it's the fleece line inside. Okay, nice and, so, nice and soft fleecy and it has stretch. It is not super thick. Sometimes when you buy the hoodies, you guys know like the standard Hanes or Gildan hoodies, they're thick and stiff. And there's time, there's a time and a place for that. Like I wear those ones out in the Colorado cold winter out on my walks, okay? But for the most part, I love it when we can get a hoodie that's like flexible, movable, moves with you, is not fighting you, but has that, still has that really nice soft warmth in here. Another Victoria design on the graphic here. And we just threw a Wyoming in a pop green. I don't know, I think this has a vintage throwback. It reminds me of like my dad's PE sweatshirts when he was an athletic director that had that throwback green color. I don't know. I feel like it just kind of has that little vintage vibe. Um, and then it has the Grand Tetons. Okay, those the mountains kind of has a little bit of the scene. You get some elk or some deer through here. Um, kind of the water underneath the mountains fading out. Okay, so I would say, let me throw this one on for you. I can just throw this over that. I would say this is a true to size fit without being super oversized and super baggy. So if you're between sizes, you could go up or down um, depending on how you like your hoodies. I tend to like mine more on the um, little bit more oversized type of fit personally. So um, I like to go with the small. The small just gives me 
that extra coziness, nice and loose type of fit. You can do this with jeans. You could front tuck it if you wanted to make it a little bit more casual. You can like tuck it up like that. So see how I get in the small, I get a nice roomy oversized type of fit. That's what I personally prefer. But if you are someone who does it, so, so true to size for that reason. And that's why I'd say it's true to size in this one. Um, if you like your hoodies slimmer, a little bit more slim fit in between sizes, you can go down and I can put the extra small on for you too while the girls are changing. But what I would love to do is I would grab our girlfriend tee and I would put that underneath this with a pair of leggings because I'm going straight back to my, my leggings after this and give me that little bit extra length. You're, you're gonna see the girls come out. I'm like 100% sure one of them's gonna have an outfit on with a tee, a longer girlfriend tee underneath, just to give you that extra comfort, long, longer wearing, cover your butt with leggings type of style. But so soft, it has stretch, super comfortable. I'm gonna put the extra small on for you, um, just real quick so you can see the difference between sizes. Um, but otherwise, I really, I really would stay true to size in this. It really has a good um, fit and based on kind of what you prefer if you're between sizes. Okay, so here's the extra small. So you can see a little bit closer fit to my body, a little bit less baggy through the sleeve. I can wear this one just fine. Again, like having that t-shirt, I'm just gonna pull this one out a little bit, down a little bit. Isn't that cute? Just to have that t-shirt come out. So this one fits a little bit slimmer through the bust not tight <laughs> i don't i don't have tension got that hood in the drawstrings back so if you like yours a little bit more slimmer in your between sizes then go down if you like yours more oversized like i tend to like mine oversized then go up. okay let's bring taylor up in this mm, just like i said okay this is that look that we're gonna get with having a longer tee get that girlfriend tee to hang out the bottom a pair of leggings, okay, and then you really have this like really, really easy, loose, hooded type hoodie, comfort hoodie, okay? <laughs> extra small on her and extra small still on me too. So you can kind of see how that fits in the different sizes. Again, I'm a little bit more um, cl you know, closer fit in this one and the other one, okay? Um, and then Kylie in this one, cute. Graphic tee doesn't just have to be in your leg. I mean a graphic sweatshirt doesn't have to be in your leggings mm -hmm. You can do something really cute like this throw a denim skirt with it You could even do if you're still in Texas like we are <laughs> so where it's hot You can even do biker shorts with this okay if you don't need the longer length uh, longer leg or more warmth type of style But this is super cute and transitional and she tucked it and I love that look too Just kind of pulling pulling that out pulling this up and letting, letting that graphic tip. Okay small on Kylie Okay Next is Denise. I feel like I have to drink more water these days. I don't know why. Okay. Um, are you medium? Yes. Medium or large? Okay. So super cute on her. And this is a great fit on her too. So nice and casual. Great cozy sleeves. Okay. True to size on her. She's mainly... Actually, you're like pretty much always a medium in our stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. She's pretty much always a medium um, in ours. So cute and comfy. Distressed jeans. Pair of sneakers. Done and done. Run your errands, grab your groceries, show up at your kid's game, okay? Really, really easy just to throw on and have that fun kind of pop of that green, trendy green. Hey, Michelle in this in large, okay? Large on her, same kind of thing. Don't have to wear a t-shirt under it if you don't want. Just throw it on, just, just, just throw it on. It's like, this is the easiest thing, just to throw on. Okay, large on Michelle, pair of jeans. And then Amanda in this, and she's got denim on as well. So whether you go with like the kind of the crop mom, whether you go with a sneaker look, whether you go with a booty look like I have, either way you kind of have just an easy put together, throw on casual, great mom outfit, okay? And Amanda in her normal size extra large, okay. Any questions on this? If you have any questions, make sure you put them all in the chat because we will be helping. And I'm going to try You guys, I had so much fun being on the chat. Um, when was that? A couple weeks ago when we pre-recorded? When I Oh, well, like two days after my surgery. <laughs> um, that was so much fun. I loved being on the other side. I'm never on the other side of this. I'm always on this side of this. So I'm going to try to hop on tomorrow too. So um, let me know. Let us know if you have any questions. We will answer them there. Let's move on to the... Sand Hills corduroy jacket. Oh, you guys, this is a good one. If you are looking 
for a jacket that has a nice good weight, nice great texture, really, really pretty color on this. Like it's, oh, we call it, what do we call it? Let's see. We call it rose, wood rose. And I would, I feel like that's a good color for it. So it's got a lot of that mauve in it, kind of that dusty pink, but still a lot of brown and neutral um, that really makes this one time. Now, historically and traditionally, <laughs> Corduroys are very stiff. We don't like stiff corduroys here at Grace and Lace, so we don't make stiff corduroys here at Grace and Lace. So this is a wide, wide, it's called wide whaled. That's the right way to say it in the design world, but it's a wide um, rib corduroy type of style, but it still has like good flexibility. There's no stiffness in it all, at all. It almost feels like you've been wearing it over and over for like years and years and years, and it's just got this like soft, drapey, nice great, but still has a really good weight to it. Now, um, snap closure, closure here, it's got the hood with the drawstrings, it's got the Kanga pocket, it has an elastic waist with a drawstring. So what this kind of allows you to do is that you can wear this like longer and open and just like kind of let it sit open. You can snap it close and wear it longer, or you can kind of turn this into, and I'll put it on and show you, but you can kind of turn this into, um, oh, I forgot what that kind of type of jacket calls, where you kind of like cinch it a little bit tighter, tighter and roll it up underneath you, almost more like the hoodie type version of it. Um, I would say true to size fit of this, I'm gonna put this on really quick. Um, between sizes, I like to size down. Hold on one sec. Okay. Here is the extra small me, which is the size that I prefer in this. So it's kind of like an easy, loose fitting jacket. We know you guys don't like your outerwear to be too tight or too slim in general. So we try to make our outerwear like on purpose, have a little bit more of that looser fit or give. So if you did want to layer like a hoodie underneath this or a big chunky sweater underneath this or sweatshirt or whatever, you would still have comfortable room in this. So that Kanga pocket is really nice. Nice deep pockets right there. It is a full snap closure. So you just kind of can play with this a little bit. And here, I'm going to show you what I was going to, I'm going to show you what I was telling you. Oh, and it does have the snap um, kind of sleeves here as well too. So I love seeing the warp and weft of the corduroy because you get that little variance. It just, it looks nice. It, look, it looks nice and expensive. Okay, elastic waist right here. You can tie this, and I'm not even gonna tie it for you, but you can tie this and then tuck this up and in. So tie, you would tie that in the bow. I just didn't, I didn't make the effort to do that or make it a little bit tighter. And then you kind of have, they call it like a sports jacket a little bit more. Like you'll get that like, um, kind of more like a hoodie type type feel of it so that you could truly put this on with a long sleeve tee or with something underneath and you get that like little casual type of hoodie type of look. You don't have to do that, of course. You can leave this open, you can let it hang, you can throw it on. It has good weight to it. It's not lined, but it's soft on the inside. So you kind of get that warmth of that corduroy and that weight of that corduroy um, and just in a nice casual jacket. And I do prefer the extra small. So between sizes, I would size down in this one. Otherwise, stay true to size, especially if you want to layer. Okay, um, let's go with Taylor in on this. It's fixing my hood. I got inside out somehow. Okay, so you can build an outfit. You can put something together with this if you wanted. Um, but honestly, you can just throw. You can just like throw it on. So she's got kind of like a put together type of styling outfit here. And there you can see this the loose kind of casual, easy fit, especially for someone who's an extra extra small. Um, but between you are, I would suggest going down to have that extra room, unless you're extra hippie and you want more room in the hemline. Okay, extra extra small. On, or extra small on Taylor, extra small on me. Okay, and then Kylie in this in a small. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cute. If you have this pair of denim, this is our button fly repurposed. This color looks really good with this kind of dusty muted type of rose and because it's a, it's like a vintage wash on that denim. So you don't get the bright blue. I have the brighter blue. She's got that vintage color kind of in that, in the denim, which also kind of like pulls out this vintage color of this muted type of, well, wood rose is what we call it. But kind of that dusty rose has a lot of brown in it, has a lot of taupe in it. Give you this nice color. So I smell at her and then she's doing what I told you where you can tie that up. She tied up the waist, rolled it under, where it kind of looks like that sportier type version of a jacket. 
um, or you don't have to do that and you can just tie off your strings right here. Okay? Small on her, extra small on me. And what you can do if you know you're not one, you can pull the, you can pull the drawstring out if you're going to be like, Melissa, I'm not even going to wear it, I'm not going to tie it. You can pull that drawstring out or you just can kind of shorten these off. Um, like that if that bothers you, but we wanted to give you that option in case you did want to cinch it up and wear it shorter like that. Okay. All right, Denise in this one, normal size medium, graphic tee launching today that we're going to talk about in a second, but kind of putting together a nice kind of casual look when you need that jacket, need that little bit of extra weight, extra warmth, but don't need something too heavy yet, don't need something fleece lined, you know, you need that extra layer of warmth and you want something that's cozy drapes well. This is a good one for that medium on her, which is her normal size as well. And then Michelle in this. And of course, you don't even have to build an outfit. You can just throw this on with whatever you have for something when you need just something cozy and weighty. Throw it on and Michelle in her normal size. Large, right? Yep. Okay. And Amanda in this one, I'm like, I'm bringing them out, you guys. I'm <laughs> bringing them out. Um, and then kind of same on her. She's this one. If you've got this graphic tee, this is a good one to pair with it too because you have kind of this taupey. Yeah, you have that taupey color in there. You have those neutrals in there that really kind of pull together and bring this kind of neutrally vibe. As well as you guys, and that's a normal size extra large on, on Amanda. Um, this doesn't have to be just for fall. This would be a great spring transitional jacket as well. Okay, so it does snap all the way up. I'm not sure if I showed you guys that. It snaps all the way up here. So if you were at like, oops, well, line up your, <laughs> line up your snaps right. <laughs> Let's start there. <laughs> okay, if you did need to kind of cozy up a little bit, great layered, great layering jacket. The hood is, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do the hood for you just so you can see. The hood is fabulous. Nice big and nice deep, nice big hood. So if you did need to kind of bundle yourself up all the way, here you go. I'm gonna just pretend it's cold and that I need a cozy, a cozy jacket on because um, you have the snaps coming up all the way. Nice, loose, nice relaxed fit. I could put a hoodie underneath this um, if I wanted to as well. Okay, let's move on to I think this one up. What's next? Ah, uh, the girlfriend fit graphic tee. I'm so sad, you guys. We actually had, I mentioned this last week, we had a lost in transit shipment. Um, oh, it's so frustrating. Still a deal that we're dealing with, but um, figure it found it actually to be stolen um, of some more girlfriend, gra well, one style, um, freedom style, was a girlfriend graphic tee that we did. And I'm so glad, I'm so glad this one was not on that shipment because this is the only, I think the only other style in the girlfriend um, fit graphic tee that we did. So we have a bunch of blinks in these. We did the Nashville in this. We did the freedom, which is not available due to it being stolen. And then we did this adventure awaits another Victoria design. She's like queen of the show today and she needs a hand clap because she's back from maternity as well. These were all styles that she cranked out right before she went on maternity leave. Really pretty in here. Love, love, love the colors on this. So this is on that kind of creamy color ground. Adventure awaits. It has the, the nice neutral mountains through here. Kind of this fun floral wraparound um, that's got like some kind of warm, rusty type flowers. You have some cream flowers in here. And then of course, just the little pop of yellow sun. The great thing about this is that it's a graphic, a large scale graphic that gives you just a hint of color. A lot of times we do a great job with our graphics. We give you graphics that have tons of color, multicolor, two color, one color. Okay. This is one of those ones that's got just a few really subtle pops of hints of color in it. Um, that allow you to really style this with a lot of different things. So I'm just going to throw this one over just to make life life easier for you guys. But if you're not familiar with our girlfriend tee fit, it's fabulous. One, it's in a nice heavier weight, um, just nice plush, feels expensive <laughs> t-shirt, but has stretch. Okay, we love, love, love giving you the stretch for the flexibility of fit. It's that boyfriend, girlfriend type of fit, but not oversized, not too oversized where you would get 
in wearing like a men's t-shirt where your sleeves are really big, the shoulders are really big. So we give you a nice fit down through the shoulders and the bust and the sleeve without being too sloppy and oversized, but we got it and we made it nice and long for you. Here, there's nothing better, here's the deal. Nothing better than a nice long t-shirt for those days that you just wanna throw a pair of leggings on, throw a pair of joggers on and you, you wanna like just be covered up, have nice great coverage. I mean, you could tuck this, you can fully tuck it. I have my tank on, I would not recommend a tank underneath this, but you can tuck it too. So it does not have to necessarily be long, um, but then if I had leggings on, which is the story of my life right now, um, I've never, never thought I would get tired of wearing leggings. <laughs> I'm on two weeks over, I'm not tired, and don't, don't, don't quote me, I'm not tired of wearing leggings but I'm ready to get back into some jeans and I'm giving these like a test run right now. So you can tie around the waist too for like an easy, just casual, comfortable, casual look. And then look at that. That's what Denise had on earlier with the teeth, kind of pulling out that color there. Okay, let's bring the girls out. Taylor in the extra, extra small on this which is her more true size of this. And then here's, here's what you can do. So if you're not wanting the extra long length, you can just tuck it and still wear it with a pair of jeans, okay? And look like that graphic tee kind of put together type of look. Or if you're wearing leggings, and like I said, and you want that extra length, pull it out. So extra, extra small on her. I've got mine out all the way, just so you can see. But I probably, with a pair of jeans, would tuck these as well, okay? So let me see if I can do that. I would not recommend the, the bulky tank here at the waist underneath, but you can kind of just do something like this and just kind of let it sit at your hip. As far as sizing, extra extra small to extra extra large. So if you have any of our girlfriend, um, the graphic tees in this, you know what size to get in this one. If you have not tried our girlfriends yet, I would say true to size is gonna give you nice, comfortable, relaxed fit. If you want more relaxed, go up. If you want more fitted, go down. You can kind of play with that knowing that it has stretched stretch okay Kylie in this <coughs> yeah she's sneaking the jacket we're about to talk about as well so <laughs> nice neutral color palette in this and this is what I was saying with a pair of leggings okay just gives you that really really easy casual look but you get that extra length that you need okay so she's in a small which is her normal size Threw on a jacket over it, has a put together legging type look and feels as comfortable as heck, <laughs> okay? That's what makes this one so great. So small on her, extra small on me, which is what I prefer in this. Sorry, you guys, I feel like my throat is getting a little bit dry. Okay, um, and then Denise in this, and she, did you just come out in the same thing? I did. So when she, well, you're the stylist here, you get to style yourself so you don't have to do changes. <laughs> but hey, that just shows you that this works, okay? So put it on with a jacket, throw it on, take it off, whatever. Have yourself a dark pair of jeans, light pair of jeans, pair of leggings, easy, easy look. Normal size medium? Yes, ma'am. Normal size medium in that on her, okay? And then Michelle in this. Okay, and now we're bringing in all the comfy, cozy vibes. So sweatpants, the nice, super, super soft, lighter weight cardigan on this, so you're at home, gotta run the kids places, just a Saturday, lazy Saturday, this is that type of look that makes you feel like you kind of built and put together a look, okay? She looks adorable, but she is comfy as heck in that, okay? So normal size large, yes. normal size large, okay? You guys, there's 800 million ways to wear graphic tee. I love these ones that have this neutral palette, neutral color palette, because it makes it easy to like super dress down, pair with different things. You know, million type of options. Okay, were you in this too? Look at that. No, no, I wasn't. I mean, I've been in the same jeans. I'm not changing. <laughs> I'm like, they have it easy. No, it's okay. Jeans, tee, tie it around the waist. Wear it with a wear it with a cardigan. Wear it with a denim jacket. Wear it with. Uh, you could even lay your long sleeve underneath this. And this pulls I mean, out. Yeah, see, like. look at that. You just have that little hint of easy color to pull out in that. You're in your normal size extra large? Yes, normal size extra large on her, okay? Any questions on this one? Again, if you have the blanks, um, the blank ones, we did it in gray. We make them in gray, ivory, and cream. We also made it with Nashville in a cute, like a rosy pink color. And then this is the last, I believe, maybe not. Ooh, I can't remember, I think, I can't remember what's still, still in there, lost in transit, but I do know freedom is not coming. We're still trying to figure out if we're gonna remake that or not. Okay, let's move on to what, what's next. Um, the Lux, oh, good, okay, I can just throw this on. <clears throat> Lux Knit Rib 
jacket in two colors. Now, I went a little crazy. <laughs> I went a little wild. You guys, Lux Knit is real up there with one of my favorite materials that we make and design here at Grace and Lace. Real close to bamboo for me. Bamboo's number one, okay? Um, I needed more Lux Knit in my life, and so when we designed last fall, when we were designing this fall line, I was like, I need to make everything in the Lux. Like, I just need to own everything in the Lux, and here's why I love it so much. The Lux has a really good weight. I love things that are weighty, which is one of the reasons why I love bamboo. It has a nice, great weight. It's almost like, like those of you who like weighted blankets, it gives you like a sense of like, maybe security, or just kind of feeling like, I don't know, it, there's, that, there's that weight and like not being fuzzy is big key for me. Usually things that have weight have a really fuzzy or warm interior. So we use our Luxnet that really, really gives you that weight and warmth without overheating, similar to bamboo, and that's why I put it in everything. Made everything out of it this year. This is the only style that we use that yarn to make a textured knit. So while we call it, do we call it ribbed? Okay, it kind of looks ribbed, but it's also kind of twisted. Like it almost has a little cabling sense to it, but I would say when you do back it off, you get the texture of it being ribbed. So it's more of like a texture and it's nice and thick. It's, look at how, how much yarn is in here to knit this. And then look at the inside, that silky, silky soft, nice, thick and plush. Okay, when we talk about our Lux material, it's very, very plush, nice and weighty and very, very stretchy. Okay, two colors in this. What do we call? This is Spanish wine and espresso. So I told you this year we are also gonna bring you more in the neutral tone category um, and then the brown, so we're doing that for you too. Um, but this is one of those ones, you guys, you will see me on repeat, <laughs> this on repeat, because this, to me, when I don't feel like I have to have like a fashion outfit or a fashion sense, but I know I need to be warm and I want something comfortable, this is what I will be putting on. That silky softness from the inside plus the weight of this. So it's weightier and heavier than like um, our other Lux. Like our normal Lux materials are, have that nice weight, but because of this ribbed, the way that we cabled, actually cabled this, we call it ribbed. It's more like a textured cable, okay? But you get this really nice like drapey, drapey weight. So chunky buttons down the front. Deep, deep, probably the deepest pockets you've ever put your hands in in the front. It just keeps going, which gives you that extra cozy. Throw your kids, once it gets cold and you have like all the stuff to carry with you, you need mittens, gloves, whatever, um, you have all the pocket space in the world. Look at this, I can come all the way down, almost up, almost up halfway to my arm in this pocket. Plus it still has that inside interior cell phone, deep cell phone pocket. So this is the one, if your house is chilly, wearing it around the house, if you need to carry your phone on you, keys on you, if you're just running out on the go and you're not in somewhere where you need a jacket yet. This is a personal favorite of mine because you just, you, you just wanna wrap up in it. So it's almost like having that cozy, even at home, even in the house, even at Chili, even at the workplace, you get that cozy, but that nice weight, it's got the side slits, chunky buttons, okay? Runs true to size. Um, with a nice, comfortable, casual fit. We didn't make it tight, we didn't make it too loose. Between sizes can go down in this. Again, always thinking of you, if you did want to layer heavier underneath it, you've got room in this to layer. I didn't button all the way down, but just to kind of show you. So um, the espresso runs a little bit, a hair bit smaller than the Spanish wine. Actually, I have two different sizes, so it's not gonna make sense visually for you. That was an extra small on me, and then, this is the small. So the Spanish wine being between sizes and going up, um, I get like a really cozy, very cozy oversized fit, <laughs> very oversized fit. So if you like your jackets and jackets who are between size, between sizes and like them more on the bigger, um, more like looser size in between sizes, then go up. But I wouldn't need to go up in this one unless, oh man, you, I'm, so, I'm sorry in advance for how much you're gonna see, see me in this winter. I absolutely love this type of material, okay? So small is a little bit oversized. 
going between sizes, the espresso color does run a little just hair bit tighter because of the um, effect of the dark dye on that yarn. Okay, let's bring out the models in this, Taylor in this. Extra small on her. So, you can look adorable and totally cute and like put an outfit together with jeans, or you can do what I did, and really I wasn't even dressing myself, but I just have a graphic tee and a pair of jeans and then a cozy jacket. So extra small on her in this, which gives her an oversized fit, being closer to a extra, extra small on her brand. Um, and then a small on me in this color, which is a little bit more oversized, being between sizes and going up, okay? And then next we have Kylie. Mm. Kylie and I, Twinsies. You guys are like our twinsies, except she's got, this will be the second the show is done. I'll be back in my leggings and if I get the tee on, there we go. We have not, okay, small on her. Oh, it does, it's stretchy too. Did I mention that? It's stretchy. So you can, you can scrunch these up because the material has great stretch. That's great kind of seeing that on her that way is that it stays up. You don't need to roll this. You don't need to cuff it. You don't need to tab it. It just kind of stays up, which makes it so wearable. Okay, small really on her. big pockets. Really big pockets. That's what we said. We're like, you, you lose your hands for days. But you, the great thing is if you're a pocket person, these are like the home run, run in pocket because you can put anything you want. Plus, you still have that inside. Did I show you? You can see it better on this in the espresso color. The, those big interior pockets, which allow you to put anything um, in that side as well. Okay. All right. Um, Denise in this. All right. Uh, medium. Yes. Cute. Okay. If you've got, if you grab that. Of course, what a, um, chasing, chasing dreams. dreams. There we go. If you grab that chasing dreams, um, this brown pulls that right up. So that's a really good way to do it. The brown is super dark, espresso brown, very neutral. And then this is the extra small me, and that's your normal size medium. Mm -hmm. um, love it with the cargo jeans. So kind of pulling together a tonal look with that um, to make that easy, easy to throw on in style. Okay. Any questions on this? I'll bring Michelle out in a second. I do prefer the extra small. Um, only because I know that I'm personally not gonna layer heavy underneath this. I'll probably just have a long sleeve t-shirt um, or even maybe even just a tank or whatever because of the material so thick and plush. So I don't plan to put like a hoodie or something underneath this. So it does give me, the extra small just gives me still a very nice fit where I can button it up. So between sizes, you, you can go down or go up if you know you want it more oversized. Okay, Michelle in this one. So normal size large on her, and this is where you kind of see, just like it just hangs, it just drapes, it has that great weight to it, great, great, great deep pockets in the side, has a little bit of that side slit. You guys will find yourself grabbing this one a lot, okay? Normal size large on her, and then Amanda in this, an extra large, um, and then you don't have to do the graphic looks, and of course you can just be in pajamas with this type of stuff, but just kind of getting, putting a basic tee under, a little bit more fitted of style, a pair of jeans and a pair of boots, and you have an easy to wear type of outfit, okay? Um, uh, oh my gosh, Amanda in her normal size extra large than that. Any questions on this one? I would say I would still order your same size if you're gonna buy both colors. Between the two colors, I would still stay in your same size. Um, just know that you will feel that the, in your same size, you might feel that the espresso is just a little bit smaller than what the other one is, but. So extra small in the espresso and small. And these are not these are just to show you both sizes on me. I would also wear the extra small in the um, Spanish wine as well too. And then look at that, see that texture? And it's stretchy, so, so, so stretchy, which makes it so comfortable, okay? All right, let's move on to, oh gosh, okay, the bow leather cropped denim you guys we last year um did our first ever coated denim style and since then we have absolutely perfected this type of style and this type of material let me just tell you working with a coated denim is very very tough because it changes the properties to the denim once you put the coated leather like style on there. So it's a very complicated style to make and I will just tell you we nailed this one this year. Okay? So it fits like a denim, okay? <clears throat> but it looks like a leather. Now, in addition to that, look what we did. We soft brushed the interior. So normally <clears throat> 
Normally faux leathers, coated leathers, <clears throat> hold on. <laughs> Normally faux leathers, fake leathers, coated denims are kind of tacky and sticky and they don't move around on your body. And that for that reason, they can show lumps and bumps. We don't like that. We don't like that here. That's not okay with us in our fit. So we did, look at that. So it's not necessary, it's not fleece lined. It's just very soft. Instead of being sticky, instead of being tacky, instead of sticking to your skin, showing your lumps and bumps, you have a nice smooth kind of brush layer in, in, um, underneath on the inside of that. The color on this is phenomenal. What do we call it? It's like the best brown stone, okay? But it is the best brown. I think if you're gonna hit a brown color, we nailed it in this. So it really, really is like a really pretty chocolate color. Fit on this is similar. I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna say, well, we'll say, oh, um, rewind, okay? <laughs> Fit on this is a comfortable true to size. We learned from making the coated denim last year that it's better to be on a little bit of the looser side with a coated denim, a faux leather type of thing, situation, um, than it is to be too tight. So we gave a nice, comfortable fit in this. Did I mention too that it has stretch? Look at this, okay? It's got stretch. So nice, comfortable fit, made to sit nicely on the body. Um, if you're between sizes, I would go down in this one. We did put the hidden, interior elastic on this similar to what we do on our waist shapers but it is not a waist shaper and does not fit like a waist shaper we just wanted to make sure you had adequate stretch in the waist for an ultra comfortable fit in these so i would go with your mel's mel's faves sizing between sizes i would go down i can wear the two i can wear the four i'm going to tell you that the four is a comfortable fit on me it doesn't pull um, i'm going to put them on for you okay it doesn't pull as much it doesn't show my lumps and bumps on the back of my leg and especially just having my abdomen <laughs> surgery my abdomen i do prefer the four i also prefer fours in mel's faves right now too in the past i've got, i own both twos and fours in, in mel's face some days are two days some days are size four days so um you do have nice stretch in these they are a comfortable fit in your normal size i'd say true to size and less between then make your decision if you know you want them tighter or if you want to kind of have the looser comfortable fit let me put these on for you okay here they are, you guys. They are so, so good. Hold on, I don't even have my shirt on. <laughs> the fast change. Okay, so this is the size four. I would say it is fairly similar, similar to Mel's fit um, sizing in that it has that elastic waist, it has stretch in the material, and it's a comfortable fit on me. So I'm normally a size four in our brand. I can occasionally wear size twos, and I can wear the size two in these without them being too tight, but it just depends on how much you wanna be using the stretch and using the, I guess, yes, the stretch in the material and knowing if you want to kind of have a looser, let them move with you type of a fit or if you wanna have them be a little bit more like suck you in tight type of a fit. So these are a very comfortable fit in me, in my normal size and they will be on you too. So keep that in mind. If you want something a little bit more slimmer fit, if you wanna be using the stretch a little bit more, then you can go down if you're between sizes in these. So you can see, see how these can move on my legs, which makes them really comfortable. So going up and going down, sitting versus standing, that brush material in this inside slides with your legs instead of it being a sticky or tacky material and sticking to your legs. That's what makes them out of this world comfortable. Okay, crop fit on these, you guys. Crop jeans are all the trend. They are not just a summer or a spring item. They are definitely here for fall. Great to put with a pair of boots so they just kind of sit over your booties. You could also do a sneaker with these and kind of make them like a trend fit, but I just threw them on with, with our, um, kind of a black little upgraded ribbed tee. I forget what we call this thing, but really cute and really great way to put together a pair. Look, let's bring out um, the girls in this. Taylor in this. Okay, Taylor in her uh, size zero, okay, which is she's kind of has double zero, can wear zeros in, in, in this, but 
comfortable fit on her as well. She's got the bodysuit kind of tucked in, classy look just like the model had in this. So if you're wanting to kind of pull together an elevated look for special occasions, workplace or something, date night, really, really pretty look with the black and a pair of heels to elevate that up, okay? Size zero on her, size four on me. And you guys can see, comfortable fit in this. I'm not using a lot of the stretch in the material, which is why I could also wear the two just fine and not be too tight in the two. I just had surgery <laughs> and I didn't want to put them on and get too tight in my waist, but I do know the two does fit me comfortably. Okay, Kylie in this, in this, oh, look at this. She has got a put together fashionable <laughs> styled outfit, okay? <laughs> working with these brown tones, working with the neutrals, okay? Everything this season is really tone on tone. So bringing those two together and kind of having that oat, the longer stylish vest, longer tee underneath, and then she's popping it with the white booty, okay? Very stylish look <laughs> on this, very Kylie, okay? She'll put together an outfit like that, and that looks fabulous on her, okay? <laughs> so you can build a look, you can make this be neutral, you, but honestly, you guys, let these pants do the talking. They really, really complete an outfit like that. Okay, Kylie in her normal size six, okay. Mm -hmm. Denise in this. I feel like I have this like, frog in my throat isn't coming out. Okay, Our, uh, we released this graphic, no, not graphic, printed uh, tee a couple of weeks ago. Pulling out the brown. We told you we would have brown things to style with this. You're looking for the workplace, putting together a tonal look, another great way to kind of pull the pop of color out and let the, the ground really be that brown. Um, and then she's got a pair of heels with this. So whether you do booty, whether you do it heels for the workplace, this is a very, very great transitional fall outfit. And she's in her normal size 10, mm -hmm. which she said is a, a comfortable fit on her. Yeah, comfort fit. So. She probably could do an eight. It just really depends if you want to be using that stretch in that, if you want those to be, you know, using that stretch or want that comfort, comfort fit. Okay. Next up is Michelle. I don't know why I feel like I need to jug, jug all my water today. Another kind of tonal look in this. Really, really great option to play or pair it with a tonal jacket. So working with those brown tones, I told you you could put sneakers with it. You can absolutely do sneakers. You don't need to do booties. You don't need to do heels. You can dress this down. Um, mostly what's so great is that you really look like you're in a leather pant, but they're softer. <laughs> they're softer, they're pliable, they're stretchy, and they feel really, really good and comfortable on. Okay, normal size. Yep. Where are you at, 12 feet? <laughs> I just need to subtract a number every time she comes out here, I feel like. 12 is her normal size these days, and those are her normal size, uh, normal size 12 and that, okay? Another great tonal look, okay? You're going to see this. You're going to see it everywhere. The browns on browns, neutrals on neutrals, okay? So this is kind of pulling a little bit more of a casual type top, and then she's got the fashion bottom. A pair, you can do a nicer shoe with this. You could do a sneaker with this, but you can really build an outfit with those brown tones together and not feel like you're clashing so here's the thing with brown and we can we can get Denise on this too is like a lot of times with browns a lot of people are afraid to put color because that's a little bit more riskier don't feel like you have to you absolutely can but you can go blacks you can go grays you can go I mean you can go into the tans and neutrals I mean really really it's a good base of color I like just putting a black with it or putting a neutral with it because I like the brown to really really do um it's showing off in the leather. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to next up the Aspen plaid shirt dress. Oh, I'm so glad this is here. <laughs> not stolen and not lost in transit because we've been waiting. This one was supposed to launch many weeks ago. I think it was supposed to be in the end of August, um, but I'm just thankful it showed up because it is wonderful. You guys know we're kind of the queens of plaids around here. We design all of our own plaids, all of our own prints, all of our own everythings. And this one, we did a really soft vintage wash on. Okay, so it's black and it's like a... <sighs> It's like a rusty, rusty tone. You get a lot of rusty tones in here. It's not bright orange, it's not pink, it's not brown, but the way it, that color washed out in this really gives it, but see, you can see all the wash 
technique really kind of pulls out this like vintage, soft, drapey, okay, flowy type of look. This is a home run design for us, you guys. Plaids can be so crispy and so crunchy. Ours are never that, but to have this soft drapey in a dress is just wonderful. So talk about all the times that you have coming up this season, family pictures, K events, workplace, just wanna feel like you're in the fall vibe, fall spirit. Okay, this is it. Um, you can do a tall boot with this. You could do a booty with this. It has a removable waist tie. Um, it does have functional buttons all the way down the front. Um, it has the tabbed cuffed sleeves. So you can just kind of um, roll this up and tab it up at the sleeve, roll this under, um, and then just a nice hanging soft, very soft. It feels like one of those ones that you washed a million times. It just feels so very, very soft. So um, true to size fit in this. I would say if you're between sizes and you're on the busty or broad side, I would maybe size up in this one. I think it has like a very casual fit. Oh, the other thing you can do with this is you can unbutton this all the way down, pull your panels back with your tie and wear this as like a duster jacket too. So a couple of different options from wearing this one. I'm gonna put this one on in, I can't remember if I prefer the small or the extra small. I'm gonna go with extra small. We have to change it, be right back. Okay, I put on the extra small and I think I might prefer the small mainly because I'm broad and it has a little bit tighter fit at the across back and shoulder, but I can wear this size. So that's only, I mean, it wouldn't even bother me to wear this size. It really just depends if you are broad shouldered and you know you don't want any tension at your shoulder and want a looser fit through the across back, then maybe go up. If not, and you're not broad shouldered or busty, you can probably go down in this one. I forgot to mention, it has pockets. <laughs> so really fun. I mean, I just kept the booties that I had on in this. Again, this is extra small on me. I could easily go to the small and give me just a little bit more room um, in my cross back because the fabric is woven. It does not have any stretch. Here's the thing. That belt is optional. So if you wanted to unbutton this, wear this as a cute little duster center jacket. I should do that for you guys if the models aren't coming out that way because I feel like that would be super cute too. But the waist is what gives you kind of that tie and that fit. If you were between sizes and did want to go up, you could even kind of blouse this out a little bit. I'm going to get a little bit short in the extra small by doing that, but in the small, I would probably do that because I think that gives it like even more of a casual look. So hangs and drapes nicely between sizes and not broad. You can go down um, between sizes like myself and I am broad shouldered. I probably would go up in this one just to have a little bit more room um, for my reach and my stretch, but I can move comfortably. I can just tell it's a little tight back there. Okay, let's bring out the girls. Taylor in this in extra small. We made this extra small to extra large, right? Yes. No, or yes, okay. <laughs> yes, extra small to extra large in this. Extra small to, on her, so she's tying it to give her a little bit of waist shape. See the sleeve length? Oh, I cuffed one for you, so you can see. Tab cuff that up, or then the sleeve length on letting it out and down. And then she's got a little bit taller of a boot on. So you could also do leggings underneath this, okay? If you're in a climate where you can't wear where you're cold, which I want to be there. You could do a pair of leggings and tall boots as well too. So this would be so you transitioning great for Thanksgiving. Okay, all the festivities coming up. Next we have Kylie. Hey. Kylie in a small. Right, Kylie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Small. And I have the extra small in just so you can see. So Kylie did. She tied the waist, the tie around to her back. So if you don't prefer the tie, you can let it all out. You don't have to wear the tie at all. You can tie it around your back to still give you some waist shaping through the waist or just remove it completely. So this is just, it just will slide right out based on what you want. So small on her, just a normal size. Throw it on with a hat, pair of booties, super cute look. And then again, I'm in extra small and I'm 5'5 five five for length. Comes about an inch above my knee in the extra small. And then of course, small would be longer. Um, if you did want some longer length, but honestly, I think this is a great for a shirt dress like this is a great length Okay, um, Denise in this one and You're just gonna see everyone's just got a varied high boots tall boots short boots like you really can get a Different look based on what boot you pair with them, but it does its own speaking <laughs> It just does not need to even really be styled. It's just a great dress nice and flowy easy to wear Okay, normal size medium Right yes. medium? normal size medium Michelle in this one. Sorry for all my water breaks, you guys. I feel like I have like 
something in my throat, not coming up. Michelle in a large, okay? And she's pulling out, look at, the, these boots are so stinking fabulous and I can still smell them, they smell like leather, which is fabulous. So you get that washed black in here. This black is really du dusted down to a vintagey color. And then, so her boots are fabulous with this because that's just kind of pulling out that same tone um, in the color of the dress. And for reference, Michelle's 5'11", so you can see that length on her. She could go up to an extra large if she did want more length. It's all just gonna be preference, but at 5'5", five five at average, um, you'll get a good good length in this. Okay, and Amanda in this one. Okay, styling the hat is great. Grab one of our fall, these fall hats really, really put this look, pull this look together because you don't need anything else to style it. You really don't. So, pair of boots. She's the I didn't flat, bring huh? shoes today, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. Okay, and you're pulling out the hat. So, it, it's one of those ones you don't have to think about. Just throw it on, it looks fabulous. Okay, um, so again, stay in your normal size. <clears throat> if between and you're not broad, you can go down. It really has just uh, an easy flowy fit. Very, very comfortable, very, very soft. Let's move on to the last and definitely not least. Oh, you guys. I couldn't believe. I have to actually rewind us a year. Amanda and I were at one of the largest um, leather, faux leather type markets in the world, actually, because I really, really had in my mind that I knew I could find, I wanted to find a soft faux leather. <laughs> and I, when we touched and felt this, it was it. I literally told her that feels like butter. How leather or faux leather can feel like butter is like beyond me. But honestly, you guys, it is the softest, most like pliable. I, it, I, can't, I can't even tell you until you touch this and feel this. It literally feels so nice, so rich, so expensive. It feels, it's, it moves like it, it has like this like move with you type of feel on it. It literally feels so supple and so nice. Okay, classic puffer. Okay, puff feel best. This is right spanking on trend for the fall. Two colors in this, black, and then did we call this cognac? I think we did because that's the color it is. Yes, it is. And it is the puffer filled. So let me just grab my size right here. And it's the full like puffer fill on this. So you get like the true warmth puffer fill. It's fully lined on the inside and you even get like the overlap. You, I, I don't even know how to tell you. I don't even know how to tell you how soft, how soft this is. Okay, You really, really get this. And I, actually, you know what? I should go put on a normal outfit so you can see what like, you know, this would be kind of put together. Hold on. I'm going to do that for you. Okay, hold on. Okay. I had to actually put on something uh, because I wouldn't suggest wearing that dress with the leather vest, but oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. So, um, long sleeve, anything underneath this works. In fact, you can even put this with a hoodie. You can even do a hoodie underneath this. It is true puffer fill. So it does have that warm, truly warm. Okay. You're going to get the warmth out of it. It's got the full zip. It has deep pockets here in the side and it really just makes an outfit. You guys, I cannot wear this like a travel outfit, truly out and about. Okay. You can style this up. You can style it down. You'll see girls in leggings. You'll see them with just a long sleeve relaxed tee. I just threw the bodysuit on, not all the way. <laughs> I just tuck the tails in with my jeans. And then like, it just like it, it screams amazing and very, very fabulous. It has this like extra kind of tall type of collar to make the statement. And this is the extra small on me. So if you are between sizes, look at that zips all the way out comfortably. It's not a tight neck, just really statement making and kind of keeps the warmth there. Between sizes, I would suggest sizing down in this. We did allow it to have room as an outerwear piece if you did need to layer this hev more heavily, like with a sweatshirt or a hoodie or something like that. Otherwise, it just gives a really, really nice fit. It has the elastic at the bottom, so it kind of stops here um, at your hip line and uh, it just makes a, a great statement. Okay, so I'm gonna put on the other color in the small so you can see. That was the extra small on me in the black. Here is the small in the cognac, which is also such a fabulous color. 
I can't wait for you guys to feel this. There's the inside, fully lined. And then this is the small, which gives me, being between sizes, I feel my hair out of my neck, okay? More of a, a roomy, roomy fit. So you can see zipping this, my panels, um, like I have a lot of room at the bust and zipping up. And I, I just personally, for this type of style, just don't need the extra room. I'm not busty, so I don't need the room for bust. But if you did know that you wanted to layer this heavy, you wanna have a like, nice comfortable zip up all the way and you're between sizes, or maybe even like on the hippier side where you just want a little bit more length, you could go up between sizes. Otherwise I'd stay in your normal size. It just depends if you want to layer, you want to be able to wear thicker things underneath it. So that's the small on me and this color. You guys, it's so, so good. So wearing open, wearing zip close. I think that's why I mainly prefer the extra small, just for that little bit more closer to body fit, um, especially worn open because I will probably wear it open. Wear it open. Okay, let's bring the girls out. Taylor's in this extra small on her, and we're twinning. Okay, <laughs> we both have flare jeans on. These are just the jeans that I had down here, you guys. We both have the bodysuit on, and then we're both kind of just throwing on this vest to like have a really easy nice don't we look like we look fall i look a little bit edgier with the black on the black she's pulling out that con cognac fall tone that just oh screams that time of year okay extra small on her extra small on me for um fit wise you can see kylie in this this is the outfit this will be like my travel outfit right here okay <laughs> comfy long sleeve pair of leggings and a sneaker. Mm -hmm. And then what made this outfit is that stylish vest. She looks so stinking cool, okay? <laughs> so if you wanna be comfy, like we all wanna be comfy with traveling, just a t-shirt and a pair of leggings is, is this travel outfit. But because she threw that vest with it, she elevated that look so much more to give her a stylish type of look and to keep her warm as you know, you're traveling, you're going somewhere cold or whatever, just to give you that extra warmth in the puffer. Small on her, mm -hmm. extra small on me in this. Okay, um, I was gonna say Kylie, not Kylie again. <laughs> Denise again in this. Just giving you different ideas here of what you can wear. So she's kind of going with that tonal type of look again. She did a ribbed, uh, ribbed, ribbed long sleeve <laughs> shirt. <Yes. laughs> okay, we'll go with that. In the oatmeal, which is kind of working with those neutral tones. She has a little bit of a crop showing the booty off with a little bit more of that um, crop jean to sit above there. So really, really easy look. Easy to put together and feel stylish and be stylish at the same time. Um, medium? Yes. Okay, true to size medium on her. And then Michelle in this one, you can pull out the stripe. Any long sleeve, black especially, you guys, any long sleeve can go under this. Um, so she's doing the stripe underneath it just to give her a little pop of a pattern. Pair of jeans, pair of booties. Normal size large? Yep. Normal size large. Hey, <laughs> And then Amanda. Um, and this is a good one too. So don't be afraid to put a plaid. You can absolutely put a print or put a plaid underneath this. So she's got our favorite plaid, pulling out this little kind of cognac stripe in there. Got it zipped all the way, normal size, extra large. Okay, she could wear it open. She can wear it zipped if she's cold and chilly. <laughs> it really gives you the versatility if you wanted to kind of change up your look by wearing it closed or open. Okay, all right. Any other questions on this? I would say true to size, if between or want a slimmer fit, then um, consider sizing down for a slimmer fit, but you do have that nice puffer fill. Feels absolutely luxurious. You guys, I know faux leather vests like this that go well over, well to close to $100, okay, for this type of really, really soft faux leather material. So very, very quality for a great price. All right. That's it. <laughs> that was today's launch. Oh, um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me the whole time. I'm so glad we had another great lineup come in this, um, this week. We will be back, uh, let's see, we should be back next week. Same time, same place. Friday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I'll see you then. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.